Yo, what's up everyone? Just a quick update. I am trying to resurrect the AI alt text bay. And I'm using this Transformers JS, which loads a model locally in the browser. So that's, it kind of takes a little while to load. And then we're hitting the Webflow API to get all the assets in the asset folder. So that's this one right here. And I've got 61 files in here and they're all actually kind of big and slowing things down. I wouldn't normally upload images this big. And um, I like this UI just to be able to type out any alt text. Um, but I'm finding that this Transformers JS like image to text model is not nearly as good as the API I was using in my last one. Like, let's see what it gets for this bowl of peppers. Takes a second to mm, dun, dun, dun. So a pair of red and white beads on a table, like not even close. It seems to be doing pretty well for like rooms and houses and buildings. Although more abstract building pictures, it says it's like a piece of paper. So like this is good. Desktop with lap and chair. I think that would be actually useful. But these more abstract ones, let's see what it goes for here. Anyways, I'm just sharing the progress update. Like obviously I'm, I've kind of proven the prototype. A building with a large window and a building. I mean, that's okay, but you would have to edit it um, with, I would say, like large windows. And you could be even a lot more descriptive than that. And then the idea is that it's tracking your changes with the ones that are highlighted in green, and then we can save the changes, and that would update the alt text in Webflow. So let's look at this one, uh, type out any alt text in this bowl. Now we have to refresh designer before we can actually view the updated alt text. It doesn't update um, live, I guess. So we're checking out the images, and this bowl now has a pair of red and white beads on a table. So I'm just sharing the progress. I think what I'm going to do is look at some other AI models to use. I just don't think this one is useful enough because my ultimate goal is to create something where, of course, we load it up and then we get the images. Just wait with me one second while we get there. And then you press that button that says get them for all. And we can see like if I go ahead and click get AI alt text for all, it's going to start going and I have 60 images here or 61 and it's just going to take a while but you'll see in the the console it'll start spitting out the the captions blurry picture of a fire hydrant with smoke coming up like not really sorry and uh yeah it'll just start going through and updating these for us i'm not sure which one a white and black clock with a pair of scissors that might be like an apple watch i think that i have and then it's also just not loading very well probably because the the ai model i'm using i think it's like 400 kilobytes or sorry megabytes so it was kind of cool that I could run it in browser and directly in the app without making an API call. And then I can also like bring costs down for users because I don't have to charge. But honestly, like a man sitting on a chair in front of a lamp, that's kind of, I think it's more useless than it is useful. So close up view of a black and white photo. And that's a lens, like not really, sorry. Clock with a painted face on it. Mm, these are just not very good. So <laughs> uh, just excited that I'm working on this again and wanted to share that and show you kind of what I'm dealing with um, 